Welcome to the Legend Lore Channel. Have you ever wondered how the ancient Egyptians lived thousands of years ago? Let's embark on a journey to the land of the pyramids, the birthplace of mummies and hieroglyphics, a place that continues to mystify us. Ancient Egypt. Their culture was unique, a blend of tradition and innovation that still intrigues us today. Take mummification, for instance. This painstaking process was a testament to their beliefs in the afterlife, a world beyond our mortal realm. Then there's the enigmatic hieroglyphics, a complex system of writing that used symbols, not words. It's a language that took us nearly two millennia to decipher. Their religious beliefs were also remarkable. They worshipped a pantheon of gods and goddesses, each with their unique role shaping every aspect of their daily life. From the sun god Ra to the river goddess Isis, these deities were an integral part of their existence. These elements of their culture continue to fascinate us and spark our curiosity about their way of life. Imagine a river so vital that without it, an entire civilization might not have existed. This was the Nile River for the ancient Egyptians. This majestic river, the longest in the world, was the lifeblood of Egypt, providing its people with a bounty that shaped their existence. The Nile served as the main highway for transportation. Boats carried people, goods, and ideas, connecting different parts of the kingdom and fostering cultural exchange. But the river was more than just a means of transport. It was the backbone of agriculture. Each year, like clockwork, the Nile flooded its banks, leaving behind a layer of rich, fertile silt. This natural cycle was Egypt's secret to abundant harvests, providing grain for bread, beer, and even trade. The Nile was also central to the Egyptians' religious beliefs, providing a pathway to the afterlife. So, you see, the Nile wasn't merely a river, it was the lifeline of Egypt. The Nile River, truly the lifeblood of Egypt, shaped the civilization that we study and admire today. In ancient Egypt, the line between gods and rulers was blurred. The pharaohs, considered divine, were the supreme leaders. These god kings were not only the political heads, but also the religious leaders, believed to be earthly embodiments of the gods themselves. Their word was law, and their actions were seen as divine will shaping the course of Egypt's history. The responsibilities of the pharaohs were vast. They were expected to maintain ma'at, the ancient Egyptian concept of truth, balance, order, and harmony. They were also tasked with ensuring the Nile's annual flood, which was crucial for agriculture. Essentially, the well-being of Egypt was in their hands. Among these pharaohs, Ramses II stands out. Known as Ramses the Great, he reigned for 67 years during the prosperous 19th dynasty. His military campaigns expanded Egypt's reach and his building projects like the Ramesseum and Abu Simbel showcased the grandeur of his reign. But the pharaohs were not just about grandeur and power. They were also seen as intermediaries between the gods and the people. They performed important religious rituals and ceremonies, further solidifying their divine status. The pharaohs, with their divine status and absolute power, left an indelible mark on Egypt's history. Their reigns, whether marked by prosperity or turmoil, shaped the Egypt we know today, their legacy preserved in the sands of time. Ancient Egypt has given us some of the most iconic figures in history. Names like Tutankhamun, Cleopatra, and Nefertiti still resonate today. Let's dive into their stories. The boy king Tutankhamun, who ascended the throne at a tender age of nine, is known more for his death than his reign. His tomb, discovered nearly intact by Howard Carter in 1922, gave us a peek into the opulence of Egyptian royalty. Then there's Cleopatra, the last active ruler of the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt. Known for her intelligence and charm, she held the reins of power through strategic alliances with Rome's most powerful men, Julius Caesar and Mark Antony. Finally, we have Nefertiti, the great royal wife of Pharaoh Akhenaten. Her bust, discovered in 1912, is one of the most copied works of ancient Egypt, yet much of her life remains shrouded in mystery. These figures, with their fascinating stories, continue to captivate us centuries later. Ancient Egypt was a land of wealth, and nowhere is this more evident than in the treasures found in tombs and temples. These were not mere burial places, but grand repositories brimming with the opulence and artistry of a civilization that truly revered the afterlife. Consider the intricate jewelry, meticulously crafted from gold and adorned with precious gems. These were not mere accessories, but symbols of status, power, and divine favor. Now imagine the ornate sarcophagi, 
their surfaces etched with detailed hieroglyphics and covered in gold, encapsulating the reverence the Egyptians held for their departed. But perhaps the most astounding of all these treasures is the wealth of artifacts found in Tutankhamun's tomb. From the iconic golden death mask to the intricate chariots, these items reveal a culture that spared no expense in honoring their dead. The treasures of ancient Egypt give us a glimpse of the richness and splendor of this ancient civilization. When we think of ancient Egypt, we think of its monumental architecture. The pyramids, the sphinx, the great temples, these are testaments to the grandeur of this civilization. The structures of ancient Egypt are a marvel of human ingenuity and ambition. The Great Pyramid of Giza, for instance, once stood as the tallest man-made structure in the world for over 3,800 years. Built with over 2 million blocks of stone, each weighing an average of two and a half tons, it's a testament to the architectural prowess and organizational skills of the ancient Egyptians. The Sphinx, with its lion's body and a human head, is another iconic symbol of Egypt. Carved from a single piece of limestone, it represents the power and wisdom of the pharaoh. It's a silent guardian, gazing eternally towards the east, welcoming the rising sun. And let's not forget the grand temples, like the Karnak Temple Complex, a vast mix of decayed temples, chapels, pylons, and other buildings. These temples were not just places of worship, but also served as a kind of celestial map, aligning with the stars to mark significant events in the Egyptian calendar. These architectural masterpieces continue to awe us with their scale, their complexity, and their enduring presence. Ancient Egypt's monumental architecture truly stands as a testament to a civilization that was, in many ways, ahead of its time.